What is up, YouTube? Kevin Wolf with 123. It's car boot time again. Sorry the episodes have been so few and far between, if that's the words. Um, there's just been, like, I, as I said in the other video, car problems, then um, rain problems. So I couldn't go to the boot sale because it's raining. And then I went to these ones, which you'll see now, but it's not the greatest. So I hope you still enjoy the footage. If you like it, give us a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the pickups. There you go. I looked at the other and you're gone. PlayStation. I'm selling that as a whole lot. So there's okay. controllers, the scart lead, the buzz games and all the buzz controllers. How much is that for 35 that? 35 for the whole okay. lot. Okay. How much is the Atari flashback? Um, 25. Okay. I've seen this lady a few times at the boot sale and I'm sure it's the same PlayStation 2 that she's had all this time. £35 is quite an expensive price for it. I don't think she's going to sell it for that. And £25 for the flashback. It was new, but you can, I think you can get them in the shop for that price. So yeah, I left those behind. Bionicle Hero, Prince of Persia. Two o'clock in the morning, you need your diamonds down and get a coffee. <laughs> need for speed. In the corner, Cova. Championship manager. Man. Oh, you got any more gaming stuff? That's everything. How much are you asking on the box games? Let's see the big ones. That's it. Four big box PC games. You don't see them too often, and I didn't find much at that boot sale, so I thought I have to go home with something. So I thought I'd grab those. Not too bad for a pound each. Hiya. Have you got any game gaming stuff at all? Gaming stuff. Yeah. Uh, like Xbox, PlayStation. I've got a PlayStation in there. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> you take that round. How much are you asking on it? Oh right. Uh, you have a look at the Xbox One. Oh, they're over there. I was going to say, I'll walk this over. How much are you asking on the Xbox games? Oh, not much. are they? How much for the PlayStation as well, please? Um, I'll have something for that one. Okay. Uh, sorry, I haven't been through the bag yet. Mud weight, FIFA. I think uh, Graham would be after any of those ones. I think he'd have them, yeah. Oh. oh, it's a bit smashed. Pretty beat up. Uh. 
have a hard life. Uh, oh, sorry. Um, I don't know. It's got a, quite a bit of damage on the front. I think someone's forced it in. Couple of quid? Nah. Okay. So as you saw, the lady had a PlayStation 2 Slim. It was really mullered. The top was all scratched up. It had this brown, like sticky liquid that's been seeped into it all over the front. The memory card slot had been smashed off completely. It was in such bad condition and all the controls weren't the official ones that go with it. They only had a black one, which had the sticks all chewed up and was disgusting. When she said, make me an offer, I said a couple of quid because it was really just taking a chance on it because it was battered. And when she said she had Xbox One games, uh, I assumed she meant Xbox One, not Xbox Original, but I guess what some people call it. Um, they were all common titles, like really bad sports titles and really bad condition as well. Like they'd been in water and stuff like that. The, the covers all wrinkled up. I just, yeah, left all that stuff behind, sadly. Raving rabbits, we play. Hi, oh, you got any more gaming stuff at all? No, just those three. Just those three. <laughs> oh, Matt, let's go. I'm a man as brother today. Uh, Tony Hawk, rock band. No, nothing, nothing uh, too interesting there. Just dance. We play. Have you got any more gaming stuff at all? Mm, no, no, that's sorry. it. Thank you. PlayStation. Oh. Hi, how much is your PlayStation, please? Uh, £30. £30, it's not too bad. You sell a controller separate or? Uh, it's all together. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. PlayStation 3 Slim with a red and a black controller in lovely condition. Someone must have got a bargain and took that home today. And if they were after one, that was a really good price. Borderlands, Alien, Sonic. Nothing that interesting, I don't think. The hooves. Hi, have you got any more gaming stuff at all? Uh, I've got, oh dear, I've got Football Manager down there. Okay. A couple of other um, PC ones. Okay, thank you. How much are your films, please? Uh, Blu-rays. Yes. Um, Two pounds bar the Game of Thrones. Okay, how much is the Game of Thrones? Eight. Okay, cool. It's brand Have you seen it though? Me? Have you yeah, seen the series? It on, yeah. On <laughs> I was gonna say, don't gotta watch it. it so gotta watch it. <laughs> New episode is superb. Seen that football factory? Yeah, it's very funny. It's a good film. Lots of violence. I might get. Oh yeah, how much are your films, please? Okay, cool. The Pact. Not heard of that one, have you? I'll grab this, I think. Bit weird. I didn't even see them. Guitar Hero. Oblivion. I'm sure Oblivion was backwards compatible. I don't know if man has got that. I bet she, has. she probably has. Yeah. See that? That fascinates me. You know, old board games and things like that. Yeah. Quizard. He does it, doesn't he? Um, I think video games like that. Uh, board games, right? Board James. Board James, yeah. Yeah, he's got loads of them. He must get sent a lot. I think they're pretty cool. I think Kieran would probably want them, wouldn't he? Yeah, it probably would. How much are your vinyls, please? Those two, you can have, they are... Just Sorry. £1.50 for two. Okay, cool. I totally forgot I got those vinyls, but I got them for Kieran 
also known as Game Boys are awesome. If you don't know him, check him out. And uh, yeah, he's into ET, and I saw them, and I just thought, yeah, Kieran would like those. And for one fifty for the two, bargain. Loads of PlayStation 1 games in a bucket. Um, nothing that I really wanted, so I left them behind, but I heard a guy later on talking about that he paid 15 quid for the lot, which is a good price. Also some PS2 games, some DS games already being picked through by some people, so there was nothing worth grabbing after he'd gone through them. Hello. Hi. How much is your PlayStation, please? You wanted 20 quid for it. 20 so. quid, that's not too bad. Yeah. Have you got any more gaming stuff? No, that's just, just that. Okay. Okay. Thank you. PS2 Slim boxed. It had two box controllers, third party, twenty pound. Um, I came back later, and she actually wanted fifteen later on. But yeah, if it was super cheap, I'd grab it. But as always, I assume everything I buy at the boot sale is broken, so I like to pay as little as possible. Uh, hi, you got any more PlayStation stuff? No, just that. Just that. How much are you after on these? Well, the bag is down for a fiver. For the lot? Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Uh, five pound. There oh, we go. Thank cheers, you. Do I right to keep the bag as well? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> cheers, mate. Thank you. Not too bad. Hiya, how much is your DS, please? Um, if you have it with these, it's a whole lot like that. Yeah. Um, £10? £10, okay. What games you got? Uh, <laughs> brain training. How much on its own? On its own? There's no yeah. games in it. Yeah, just as it is. Um, I don't know. Two quid? Yeah, cool. Thank you. How much are you buying? So the lady wanted £10 with three really common titles, nothing special at all. When I said how much you want for it on its own, and she said £2, which is a bargain, so I couldn't leave that behind. Real steal of the day. How much are your games, please? 250 Each? Yeah. Uh, I don't think I'll play these ones. Uh, just grab... Oh, sh no, sorry. Sorry, mate. <laughs> it's a bit happened. like Jenga, this one. Uh, if I bought all three, would you do us a better deal or not possible? Three for five? Yeah, cool. Thank you. <coughs> Nuts. <laughs> Hello, how much are your controls, please? Uh, five each. Okay, cool. Uh, sorry, the red one is ten up. That's ten. This is Super Nintendo. Looks like it. Yeah, it is. How much is that? Ten up. Ten up, okay. And how much are the games? Are they all different prices? Yeah, we use our fiver. Five, okay. Um, and then PCs now are quid apart from the Age of Wonders, which okay. is a fiver. So this is five? Yeah, that's five. Okay. Let me check. It does work, does it? Yeah, yeah, it does work. Because the amount of times I've grabbed stuff and it's not working. Hiya. Yeah. Sorry. How much is your DS, please? Um, looking at 25 for that. Okay. And what about the Xboxes? Uh, £10 for the original. It's got all its wires yeah. there. Looking at £40 for the 360, so it's got the microphone and the controller. Okay, cool. Thank you. She had a DSi. I don't know if you can make it out on the video. Uh, £25. It was in rough shape. I thought I'd ask anyway, see how much it was. It might have been cheap. And then two Xboxes for a tenner and 35, I think it was. Tenner's not bad, um, but I don't really need another white Xbox 360. I've already got two, so I left those behind. So hopefully someone grabbed them. I don't know. How much are your movies, please? Uh, Blu-rays. Yeah. Pound Okay, cool. Grab those two. You got any more, or is that? What's that? Is there any more Blu-rays? Was that everything? Just them. Um, Just those. The okay. DVDs. Thank you. How much are your books? Jay, we'll do a few three dollars. 
San Andreas. Yeah. Tons of PS2 games there, all very common games, same as Wii. Had some PSP games behind, but they were just movies. And then there's The Order on PS4, which is there. And I asked how much it was. It was sealed, and they wanted £7. I've got it already, but I thought about grabbing it from my brother. But for seven quid, I've left it behind. Games there. Forza. Ghosts. My horse and me, we play Just Dance. Hiya. Have you got any more gaming stuff, or is that everything uh, you've got? That's the only thing I've got. It's um, it's a console. I think there's a few games and that in there. Okay. I'll have to have another Lovely. look. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. How much are you after for it? Uh, twenty-five ish. -ish. Okay. Make me an offer. She said twenty-ish pounds. Make an offer. Not too bad. A bit too much at the boot sale. A lot of the games were common sports titles. Dune was probably the best one, and it was like a. Uh, platinum version so wasn't worth grabbing how much is your xbox game please uh that is 750 750 okay 50p. have you got any more gaming stuff at all is that uh, no that's, I've sold all of it. Okay. that's the last one okay thank you okay so hope you enjoyed the episode if you did as i said give us a thumbs up and then we're on to the pickups so the first couple of boot sales i don't know which order this stuff goes in but the boot sales were pretty rubbish not really worth going um, one boot sale had some big box PC games. We don't see them too often, but I felt like I hadn't bought anything, so I thought I'll grab them anyway. I wouldn't really want to grab them because a lot of them don't work. I haven't tested them, but they don't work on modern PCs. But I got You Don't Know Jack, which is a great game. There's a modern version of it now. If you haven't played it, give it a go. Uh, I got Afterlife. Sorry about that noise. It sounded like it just smashed in there. Uh, Afterlife, it's kind of like um, theme park, but with heaven and hell. I've got Command and Conquer. Is it, I always used to say Command and Conqueror, but it's Conquer. Command and Conquer, Red Alert, which I've played, I'm sure I've played that one before. And the classic, which is Dune 2000. They're a pound each, not too bad. What else did I get from that boot sale? Do you remember, man? Was it, wasn't it a Blu-ray? If it was just a Blu-ray, wasn't it? I grabbed this one anyway. It might have been that boot sale. I can't remember. Um, but I've got Alice in Wonderland for a pound. It's got the 3D disc with it as well. Cool little hologram there. We have got this, haven't we? I think. I think we do. I think I can't remember. For a quid, you take your chance. Um, I think we might have it, but we haven't got the one with the 3D in it. But we can't watch 3D now anyway because the TV's different. But for a pound, yeah, we'll grab that. Not that wasn't this week. Oh, I don't matter. It wasn't even in the video. It's not worth showing. It's not worth showing. Anyway, um, so on to the pickups. So as I went to the boot sale, I missed the first row. Basically, there's resellers everywhere now. They are running as well. Usain Bolt wouldn't even catch them. They just fly past you. You're looking as fast as you can, and they're just going straight past you. Can't keep up with them. Um, so Amanda's like doing one row while I'm doing the others, and we met up and carried on. And she's on the phone to me saying she's found some stuff. And I'm on the phone trying to work out what I'm buying. So this is a bit confusing. But she got um, a couple of games. She got uh, Lego Batman. Because everyone loves the Lego games. Is that alright condition? Did you check it? Yeah, it's not too bad. Um, and Mario Kart Wii. I don't think it's got the paperwork though. It hasn't got the paperwork in it. Um, but they were a pound each. Yeah. So Amanda grabbed those. They're not on, on film. They're not in footage. Um, while I was at another stall. And at the other stall, this guy had three games. Which are these three here. And I haven't seen Zone of the Enders for a long time. I used to have it on the PS2 back in the day. I think it's quite an early release, um, reasonably early. I remember having it. But I, I remember I either had it and I enjoyed it or I had it and I hated it. And I think I liked it because it's by the guys who made Metal Gear Solid. But he had Zone of Enders and Zone of Enders Second Runner Special Edition. And also, I'm going to get this one. I saw it said Sega. I thought it was pretty cool to get. Uh, Valk Valkyria? How would you say that? Valkyria 2 I'm not sure but he wanted 250 each and I said what's the best you can do if I take all three and he said a fiver which was great so I didn't think anything of it and I don't tend to check PSP games because 
you assume they're in there, you know, you don't think they're going to be damaged or anything, but, so, quite an uncommon game as well, so I was interested in playing it, it's got flipping siphon filter in it, so, just, I've got the box only and siphon filter, and siphon filter I couldn't care much about, so, a bit guided really, these two aren't expensive games, but I'm just interested in grabbing them anyway, because I haven't seen them for a long time, and I don't see them often, so, I think, I did okay, but with that game being the wrong game, I didn't really do that well. The whole boot sales got a bit like that. So, uh, the other lady, there was a nice lady. She had a DS, and I said, how much do you want for it? And she went, if you buy it with the games, £10. And I weren't really wanting, I think it was 10 I'm sure it was. I didn't really want the games or rubbish. I said, well, what would you do without the games? And she said, £2. So, that is a bargain, mint condition, £2. All works. It was even charged. She charged it up. It was on when I was at the boot sale. So, yeah, boot, boot sale bargain of the day is a DS. I'm going to give that a, a thorough playthrough. I think it's working. It should be. I mean, I've turned it on and had a little go, but can't see it not working. Uh, this guy had some Blu-rays. Pound each. Got Shrek. Is it Shrek the third? No, Shrek the final chapter. I don't think I've even seen that. Uh, Blu-ray movie plus more. And inside it's just a Blu-ray with an extra disc slot. I don't know if that was meant to be in there. But yeah, for a pound, that's great. And I'm chucking it. Brand new sealed. 22 Jump Street for a pound sealed. Great. The other two films I weren't too bothered about. Um, I've got The Avengers and the other one was The Hangover Part 2 or something like that. Not too fussed. And Amanda spotted this at the end. I didn't get it on film. No, it was your sister spotted it, wasn't it? Yeah. Sister spotted this. It's uh, Well, we spotted the few... <laughs> I can't speak. She spotted a few Harry Potter things at the boot sale for once. Some of the stuff was missing what it was supposed to have. But this is Bellatrix. Bellatrix's wand. From the studio tour. You can't really make it out. It's really dark. You can take it out, I guess. And it's the wand. These are about £25. And it was four quid. So, for a Harry Potter item. To actually find something Harry Potter related for Amanda for once. It's pretty good. And it's boxed and all that. It still says studio tour. And all that on the box. Then, we got the bag of mystery junk. I say junk because it is junk. Um, the guy, I said, how much do you want for your PlayStation stuff? He goes, fiver for the whole bag. Now, it's usually, there's two reasons. It's either five pound, they just don't care. Or it's five pound because it's all knackered. And it was five pound because it's all knackered. So, we've got a PS1. Okay condition. It even um, plays backups. It's got a CDR in it. So, that's how I knew it. Straight away, it worked. Plug a memory card, uh, plug a controller in the bottom. Any control you put in it. It just keeps pressing X all the time. It goes through the menus, X, 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 and bounces in and out of them, and you can't do anything. I took the controller ports out, and I tried to look inside to clean the ports. Can't work it out. So if you guys know a way of fixing the control ports, I don't really want to spend like five, six quid on another set of ports. Plug them in, and then they don't work, because it's something else. Maybe like a fuse or something. I'm not too sure. But it just keeps pressing X. So if, it, if I can find another PS1 sometime, which I'm bound to at the boot sale, whack the control ports in there, then I've got a modded PS1 for 250 basically and then the other thing was in there if I can get it out PS2 alarm bells when you see the void sticker but these were a fiver for the two so it was take your chance you know um, doesn't read discs put it in it just spins and then man is playing with coins um, <laughs> it's stuck on me and I it's <laughs> So yeah, you put the thing, it spins a disc and it makes a noise but it doesn't load them. Um, so the laser's gone. So I don't know what to do with that. I don't know whether to just chuck it in the bin or what. I'm probably not going to find another laser to do it, you know, replace it or maybe it's worth parts. You never know. You might find another one at a boot sale that's got a dodgy motherboard or something I can swap. But there's loads of controls in there. There was, there's about five or six controls. Two of the ugliest controls I've ever seen. This one's got a knackered stick on it. Jaguar, as in the car manufacturer. Manufacturer. I can't even say it. Look how ugly that thing is. It is a beast. Surprisingly enough, the D-pad is actually nice. It feels really good on it. You could do some nice uh, Street Fighter moves, Hadoukens and stuff like that. But it's very cheap. And that stick is well wonky. It's like a guy from Mr. Deeds. Look, his eyes randomly... Yeah. Got two of those in there. And then, like, four PlayStation original controls... They're probably all right, so it's not too bad. It's always handy to have the controls as well. Uh, was that it? I think that was it. So yeah, got some junk. It's just annoying when you go and you're like, does it work? And they're like, yeah, and it doesn't. 
Oh no, there was one more thing. Um, PlayStation control. Where's that? Is it this one? Yeah, that's it. One more thing. Then you forgot. A lovely condition. PlayStation Three control. All working. All lovely. Yeah, it's got a couple of marks on it. You know, age related. Nothing special. The sticks are nice. That was a fiver. And he, I said, how much do you want? He said, a fiver. And for a fiver, it's worth it because, you know, even if you trade them in, if you want to trade it, you get 14, 15 quid. And he had a red one as well. I don't know if they trade in for more, but he wanted a tenner for that. And I wasn't willing to pay another fiver on top just to get a red one. But he's obviously, he had that like that SNES thing as well. He's like, I, th- I think he even knew what it was for. But yeah, it was a Super Nintendo thing where you plug it in the top and then you could play imports, put a Jap in one side, put American in the other or whatever and play them. But he wanted... Was it a tenner he goes? I was like, no. And he's like, oh, I've just been told it's a fiver. I think even as a fiver, it's... It looked a bit rickety. Oh, yeah, it was was proper manky. It was old, battered. Yeah, it wasn't super steady, yeah. But um, that is it. Uh, Barely any pickups, really. Nothing that special. Nothing really to show to go, wow, you know, I did really well. But I'm I'm most happy with the DS for two quid. Can't say no for that. And it's in lovely condition, which is a bonus. And then, you know, a sealed Blu-ray for a pound. Can't go wrong. But that's it. Sorry it's been so long since the episode. But that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for sticking along with me and waiting all this time till the new episode is, appear- uh, is appearing. Because I'm going to edit it now. So I've done the pickups before I've done the video editing. So hopefully it all goes well and there's enough footage anyway. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. See you guys.